Hey, what's up? It's Matt, and recently in my math class I learned something really cool, how to draw shapes without picking up your pencil. Like this. You can also draw it a bunch of different ways, and it's actually really easy to learn how to do this. Now, physically drawing these shapes isn't actually the challenging part. The challenging part is determining whether or not you're able to draw these shapes with one continuous stroke. For example, two of these shapes can be drawn in one continuous stroke, while one cannot. If you want to try and figure it out, pause the video and comment with your results. To understand mathematically whether or not a shape can be drawn with a single stroke, we have to look back to the mathematician Leonard Euler and the seven bridges of Königsberg. This is Königsberg. A big river separated the city and there were seven bridges that allowed the citizens to go to other parts. Now, Königsberg wanted to have a parade through the city that would use every bridge exactly once. It didn't matter if the land masses were used more than once, but the key was that each bridge was only crossed once. They actually couldn't figure out how to do this, so they asked famed mathematician Leonard Euler for help. And if you want a second problem in this video, you can try this yourself. Okay, first let's convert this map to an actual graph. Each landmass is a vertex and each bridge is a line, or edge as it'd be known in graph theory, so it would look like this. When Euler was thinking about this, he realized something important. In order to draw edges through a vertex, such that you can start from somewhere else and end at another different place, there should be exactly two edges, the edge going in and the edge going out. This seems obvious, but it means that no matter what our overall shape is, as long as we have an even number of edges touching each vertex, we'll be able to trace through every vertex while using each edge exactly once. In fact, when all the vertices have an even amount of edges touching them, like they do here, starting at any vertex allows you to also end at that same vertex. A shape path that starts and ends at the same point without retracing a single edge is called an Euler circuit. So when all vertices are touching an even amount of edges, you can definitely do what the Bridge of Königsberg asked of us. However, the Bridge of Königsberg problem doesn't meet that criterion. It has land masses, or vertices, touching odd amounts of edges. However, Euler found that it is still possible to create paths that don't retrace any edges while having some odd vertices. Euler realized before that going through a vertex means we'll have one edge in and one edge out, right? But he also noticed that not every vertex on a graph needs to have edges going in and out. Some could just have an edge in or just an edge out, like the start and end points of your shape. Unlike all the other vertices in our shape, the start and end points can only get the in or out edge, not both. And this still applies even if the start and end points are touching an odd number of edges greater than one, because there is still only one in or out edge left without a pair. So in order to draw a path that hits all the vertices and doesn't reuse a single edge, which by the way we now call an Euler path, there must be no more than two vertices touching an odd number of edges. When there are exactly two in a shape, those have to be the start and end points. We can't draw this path any other way. So to summarize this, when we have more than two odd vertices, it's impossible to draw any sort of path connecting these without retracing an edge. When there are two or fewer odd vertices, we can draw a shape path that doesn't retrace any edges. This is called an Euler path. And if the Euler path has exactly two odd vertices, then that is where the path must start and end. And when there are zero odd vertices, when all are even, the Euler path is also an Euler circuit, because our path will end at the same vertex where it started. So to bring this back to the Bridges of Königsberg problem, we were asked to hit all the land masses while crossing each bridge just once. So what we can now define as find an Euler path or Euler circuit. But since there are more than two vertices touching an odd amount of edges, we can say, just as Euler did, that this is impossible. And lastly, the title of this video, How to Draw Shapes Without Picking Up Your Pencil, if there are more than two odd vertices, you can't. If there are exactly two, you gotta start and end at those two odd ones, and if there are no odd vertices, if they're all even, you can start and end anywhere you'd like. That's all from me right now, thanks, and I'll see you later. Hey, if you wanna see more about the Bridge of Königsberg problem, there's a cool video you can watch about it on Numberphile, and that's it. Bye.